welcome to the new documentary series presented by Pixel. This is Adrian Mundweiler. He is a really dope CrossFit athlete. He recently moved to Palma de Mallorca to spread his sexy movements over there. We've prepared a surprise for him. He is arriving to the Madrid airport. This series is called Sweating Every Wad. Hope you guys like it. Hello, Adrian. Hello. Good Hola. morning. Hola. Hola, amigo. Hola, Hola chicos. Chicas. <laughs> You know what is that, right? Make breakfast on the table. Churros. Churros. The best. <laughs> Welcome to the man cave. Choosing the outfit. Choosing the outfit. You passed the corona and you didn't know it. No, they were no tests, so so we were in Miami, I was sick, but that was February 2020. So, uh, like, that was when Corona was in, in uh, China or somewhere, but in Miami, like, we had 30,000 people. And I remember we went home, uh, I went to Iceland, man, and I, f I was for two weeks so sick. Like, I've never felt, like, no, not say never, never, <laughs> <laughs> never, ever, but I was sick. Really yeah, that time was tough. Weeks. Yeah, and then everyone was like, you should go test. It's like, no, 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 because there were still events going on, uh, like the German throwdowns. Like, no, no, I just stay two weeks at home, stay alone, and then uh, I would be fine. But then everything got cancelled. But then, uh, so I never got me tested, but uh, like five or six other athletes, they all got the same, and they all got tested, and they all was Corona. And it was literally like we came home from Miami, and one or two weeks later, the whole world was closing down. So it was one of the first ones. Fit testing COVID. <laughs> Oh, really, I don't know this y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. But with your life, cause you know that it's a threat. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up. My foot is on your neck. Yeah. Take my yeah. word for it. Yeah. It's a promise and a threat. Oh, oh yeah. Really, I don't know this y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. But with your life, cause you know that it's a threat. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up. My foot is on your neck. Yeah. Yeah. Take my word for it. It's a promise and a threat. Yeah. This is what happened on the last wad of the day. Adrian fighting with Axel, his friend, to see who would get the ball. We still don't know who was to blame. These are the two talking about I it. I could have been both. If I would just been doing my shit. And then you have a different because story. I am small. So, because the problem was, I went to your ball. Yeah, somebody you fucked up for you, so you decided that's then fuck you up came. for me too. Yeah, <laughs> no, yes, I think you even yes. saw the guy next to me. I literally just saw that as my ball. And you were like, no. Yeah, but I, 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 I went here and I'm like, where should I go? <laughs> yeah. And that was the ball was like, oh, damn it. But then on the fucking video, you can see that I was so confused because the guy next to me was like, no, this must be my ball. Uh, but then. You were already starting more balls where I had to go to the other guy and take, hey, motherfucker, this is actually my ball. It was very good. I started my wall balls. So you were, you even gained even, like, I get lost even more seconds. Yeah. Good point, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it's like, like I fucked you, you up, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I fucked myself even fucking more. You are great, but that's, why should I get involved in your fuck-ups? <sighs> yeah, I, I was so proud because I picked you up on the first fun. Hanson book. They broke up officially. Yeah, man, we are on a heartbreak. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoon you tonight, kiss your neck, and scrub on your back. No. He's a bad, he's probably a better big spoon than I am. <laughs> I don't want anything in part of you. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> uh, I heard that so many times already. I can't take it serious anymore. <laughs> because, because everything is Spanish. It's one tomaca. Olive oil. We're all about the culture, you know? Jamón y lomo. Ooh. Day one done. What a day. <laughs> no, no, it was good. The uh, first event was a bit, I don't know, I digged really deep, but it felt really hard. I don't know, it was just a sled. I just read the sled pushing uh, on like uh, on the surface on the maps, uh, on the mats. It was good. Uh, second one felt better. I haven't done much 
barbell cycling in the uh, in the last few weeks of training because of, I had like a back injury. And then, uh, but that was good. That was actually a fun workout. And then the last one, yeah, they changed the workout just before the event. So it was supposed to be it was 25 wall balls, 25 box jumps, 40 meter hands and walk, 25, 25, 20. But they changed it to 20, uh, to 20 and 10 meter hands and walk. What it's like. So you went from like a fast workout to like a super fast sprint. But it's good. It's a fun competition for me. The main goal to compete was. Like I'm not, uh, like I said, I come from a knee injury. I had like a back injury three weeks ago. Uh, I'm still not there where I want to be, but I really want to compete, make some money, hopefully, because uh, that's at the end the goal. That's because okay, the main goal is we want to have a new jacuzzi, and we were like, okay, let's daddy go to work. So me and Axel signed up for the competition. So we get hopefully as much prize money we can, and then we get a new jacuzzi. It's good for winter, you know. But now that you are living in Palma. But it's still cold, like it's nice to have it. Like I think to, in uh, Palma, we have a sauna. So the goal is to go to sauna and then directly to jacuzzi. Uh, yeah, and as much, hopefully we make as much money. So if we make good money, we might get a golden one for like six, seven people. If not, we just get like a little little one for two. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's good to compete again and it's fun. It's gonna be a good two more days. I'm not look, looking forward for the lifting event tomorrow because of my knee and my back, so I'll just hope make there some damage control, but the other event's gonna be like, balls out and go hard. Let's See you tomorrow, bro. Something that I need, yeah, I need, ooh, ooh. You got something that I need, yeah, I need, ooh, ooh. Take me somewhere far away from here. Still second? Yeah, fucking hell. It's not going great. But I made some distance to the ground. But uh, I was missing a little bit the push at the end. Uh, I was a bit of pussy. Anal plug, plug, plug. No, it's a massage plug. Don't worry, guys. You like to come to the hotel and, and rest between if you have time? Yeah, well, it depends on the event. If you have not enough time or like you don't live too far away, it's nicer to go home because you just you get really tired when you're there in a warm up area and always it's like trouble and you see people. So, uh, we are today we stayed between the first and the second event, but then now we had like a four hour window, so yeah, we went home. And like I said, it's just nice to see like different, chill a little bit, have quiet, whereas like in a warm up area to chill is just like really hectic. This is what people want to see. The Adrian at the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. Um, man, I'm eating this pasta since two hours and haven't finished it yet. Such a hard time. It's good pasta. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't be competing. I haven't really squatted. I just started to lift again a little bit before and then I got the back injury. Yeah, I feel my back today on the deadlifts, but it was luckily like not normal deadlifts, so the de other deadlifts where you can stay more like upwards. But yeah, this lifting. Normal, I would be really excited because I really like lifting and my numbers are good, but today it's gonna be a different scenario. I might die. Put on three belts. Yeah, hopefully three belts are enough. So yeah, we'll see. But that's gonna mix up a little bit. Ready to go. Oh, 
Who is this guy? Uh, so this is uh, Clemens, no, Constantine. <laughs> <laughs> he did, uh, he made our life very, very easy this weekend. He was running around when we needed something, he checked times. He, uh, yeah, he was there when we needed him and that's, it's probably one of the most important things when you have competition. He walked on my back. So uh, yeah, he was uh, a big, big help and that's, that, like this kind of help someone just doesn't think one second and just does it, uh, it's a big, big help. This is the last word of the competition. Right now, Adrian is dancing on the dance floor with emotional music in the background. Hope you guys like this last dance. Adrian took second place and won the equivalent of 6,001 euro coffees. We think he will be able to buy a very cool jacuzzi. Don't forget to invite the Pixel team. It's like you go three, four days before, you the competition is four days, then you come back home, you spend a lot of money. And like I said, there's no point like not going in a good shape. I hated my life this weekend because you're there and you want to push the workout and you can because you don't have it in you and you know like what to do for it, but it's just not there yet. Yeah, like on a thruster, I was on a bike, I was trying to push, but I just didn't have the leg strength yet, but I normally have. Yeah. And that's really disappointing. Like, yeah. It's not a nice feeling when you know like where you should be or what to do for it, but you can't do like injury stuff. Yeah. Same with lifting. I haven't lifted heavy since the semi-finals and I was lifting yesterday 122 and a half snatch but yeah for that it sounds really good but normally my standard is 135 plus mm -hmm. you know what I mean like of course, yeah. when I saw the other guys lifting heavy I was like yeah that's what I should I should beat them actually you know what I mean yeah. like I beat normal Christoph in lifting events I beat them before you know like mm -hmm. yeah and it's another I mean you just say when you're doing the clean injury and you just had to say no this is it yeah I'm not just like, yeah well, I was no, just being no smart work, yeah, there's no point to do it my back and my knee mm. But, uh, like, it's not easy because it, it fucks up your mind. I'm like, I really want to be there. I want yeah, to do course, that. Yeah, yeah, Especially when you know you have it in you, you yeah. know, and uh, when you did there before. So, yeah, so it's time to fix this properly, finally. And mm -hmm. then, uh, because that the main thing is to be healthy. If you're not healthy, it's... It's really hard because you escape stuff and like if you are consistent, you, but you're not the best, right? If you're not consistent in stuff, if I can do every week the training I want to do, I have to do, mm. then it works. But if I have to change every second day something, what I cannot do, what I should do, but I cannot because my body doesn't mm. do, that's the problem, right? Mm. Yeah, especially here where you have to, you can't just say I'm not going to do legs for a while. Because yeah, that's what I'm saying. Man, exactly. to be honest, on the other hand, I'm like I said. I'm not happy with what, where I am now, but on the other side, I'm really impressed because I haven't done any fucking leg stuff and bike mm. and like some light stuff. 
I say play a second. So yeah, of course. For that, I'm thinking like it's it's good. It's like I'm mm. impressed, but on the other hand, like it's not where I want to be, right? Mm. Really. It is what it is. Peace out.